so now that you've finished, hopefully, your My IT Lab, you're ready to submit it. And again, this idea of that you're reporting your score in Canvas, but you're doing the work in My IT Labs can take a little bit to wrap your head around, okay? And before I actually get into the detail, let me just show you that I'm going to demonstrate how to do this using the Windows 10. And when you get to the next one and most thereafter, what you're going to have is more items. So you'll do the chapter one training and then the chapter one exam. Okay. So just keep that in mind um, as you move to the more of the My IT Lab in this course. Okay. All right. So now that we're in here, not sure where my score went. Hmm. Okay, let's actually, oh, it's because I'm not in there. So I actually have to click into the item. No wonder I wasn't seeing it. And the next step I'm going to show you is how to actually create a PDF file that I'm going to show you how to then place into Blackboard for this item. And I'll show you how to calculate the grade. Okay, so let's do it kind of in a systematic approach. First, for each item you complete, you get a percentage. Now, by the way, I spent a little more time going through and thinking about other things, but you can see that I did spend a little bit of time, one hour, I didn't spend one hour and a half, um, but it's not bad if I did. But notice how quickly the exam went. And again, I finished early just to give you like the example. Okay, so once you do that, you click into these three little icons, you go, do view submissions because you're going to create a file for the training and for the exam. So I'm going to report, of course, on the, the one I got a better score on. Now, here's the other thing about this. In addition to being the way you report, notice how this is broken down by each question. So if you ever wanted to go review them, you can, but I'm about to show you, you're going to create a PDF that has all this in there which is really helpful, especially later when we go to do the actual um, My IT Lab actual Word items. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so on this window, in addition to being able to go to one, when you're ready to report, you click the little icon that says print. And then in here, you're going to create a PDF. Just leave all the defaults the way they are and click download. Okay, now this is going to take I noticed a minute, okay? It takes, a, and you think when, as a matter of fact, I'm wondering if I did click it incorrectly. And it's funny because my little recording things are preventing me from seeing it working. But in the very bottom, when I move out of here, and you will see this as well, it's waiting for the My IT Lab. It's just taking a moment to kind of put it all together. And then you see print to doc, or print tool documents, your PDF. Okay, now again, this is for the training, so I'm going to hit cancel. Now for me, um, and again, I use Chrome for everything, there's this nice little option here over here to actually say show all. And what this does is it shows me Now you could use your file manager. And again, you learn some of this in the Windows uh, training, which was awesome. But I'm going to say show in Finder. If you're on Windows, it'll say show in file manager. So what this does is it shows me that file and I'm going to right click, I'm going to rename, I'm going to call this Windows Lab, and then I'm going to say training. Great. Now why am I doing this step? Well, because I'm going to create two files and I don't want them the same name because one would overwrite the other. But notice how it also addends a two on there. But just it's good to do a little file management. Okay, so now that we've done that one, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back again. I guess I have to go back here to course materials to grab the other one. Okay, there should have been an easier way to grab that, but there wasn't. So, and again, you learn, you get to learn this navigation system for my IT lab the more you work in here. So now I have the exam. I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to do view submissions. I'm going to come in here, click on the submission I'm going to use, and again, the same thing. That document you're creating is really helpful, okay? But whichever way you click on, you can either launch all, but in this case, we're going to create the file. Again, same concept, hit download. 
Again, wait. It's going to take it a minute here to do its thing. You're going to have to just be patient. You'll see it uh, show up on the bottom of the page when it's done. Uh, there we go. Again, I'm going to go down here. I see that it did create another one. And now I'll do that same thing. Right click, rename, Windows, Lab, Exam. Okay. So now I have my, and remember when you're renaming here, and this is the same is true with Windows or whatever, you're only renaming the first part, the .pdf, you want to let that remain the same. If you change that, it changes the kind of file that Windows or Mac or whatever thinks that it is. And the other thing is look where it's located. For me, and for most Chrome users, it's in downloads. Okay, so let's do this. We're almost done, but we have to do a little calculation. But before that, I'm actually going to show you now how to submit this. Okay, so we're going to hit submit file or submit assignment. We scroll down, we see file upload, which we will do. Right. And in this case, I'm like, oh, where's my files? Oh, they're in downloads. Right. So it doesn't matter which one you do first. I'm going to hit open and then I'm going to add another file choose that and notice it it said okay i know where that file is at so now that i've done uh, the first one i'll do the second one i'll make sure i have two the two correct files and now the part that is really important is that you have to calculate what your percentage is okay and i'll show you how to do this and and google is great for this so once you do this the first time, after the first time, it'll feel totally normal, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say percentage of what you got on the training, okay? Times 50%, because you get 50% of your score comes from your training. Added to that, whatever you got on the exam, right? So for me, again, I'm gonna get out of here, just because I gotta remind myself, I got 40, 46.2 on, and by the way, I could take this again. I should take this again. It's almost hard for me to even say I got that score. <laughs> Must be a teacher thing. Okay, so I got 46.2. Let me go back here. And again, I'm just, and I'm going to say 40, I'm going to say 46.2% times 50 points. Okay, so what this is going to show you, and this is good to know, just this first is going to show you that you're going to get, even though you didn't pass the exam completely, you're going to get 73%. Now that's a good score. That's not too bad for having not passed the exam, which by the way, it wouldn't take a lot of effort to even do better. Okay. So getting a hundred percent on the trainings, which is relatively easy because it gives you so much help then benefits you when you run into little things that I know I have had students say is aggravating about my IT lab when they do the exams. Okay, one last step now is that you just multiply this by the number of items, the number of points that this is worth. Let me see if it's listed here. Yeah, so 26 points possible. So now what you're actually gonna do, because you're gonna tell me this calculation for you right here, Okay. And this is really good to know how to do. So I'm going to say I'm getting 73%, but there's 26 items. So Rio wants me to uh, tell her actually the number of items I got in both overall training and exam. So when I do that, right, then that's going to equal 19. So really I get, because of the way the item is reported in my IT lab. Okay. So let me show you that. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over here. Remember, it was 19. Where it says comment, right? I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to really say it's 19 items. And that's the way you have to report, right? And then you just hit submit. So when I go in there, what I will look at is, did you give me both the exam? Oh, wow. Nice little congratulations there. That's cool. Right? Um, so that is the way you submit the work. And again, remember, my theory, my encouragement is for you to actually make sure you nail the training 
which will help you do well on the exam and that will help you get a better score. Okay, I hope this helps. I'll talk to you soon.